Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 16th, 2019. So as you can see, I've got a Walmart chart up here, and I was just going to point out, they have already reported this morning, a big retailer coming out with a good earnings report, getting a little bit of a pop-up this morning. That's helping futures just slightly this morning. We've been bouncing around a little bit here in futures this morning and, and kind of the theme of my uh, morning note this morning is uh, do we dare hope for a follow-through day let's take a look at the indexes and see what we're see what we're seeing there in the charts if we take a look at the Dow diamonds I should say taking a look at the diamonds we had a beautiful recovery yesterday after that um, well kind of a scary gap down yesterday morning but we had a nice steady recovery yesterday with buying coming in all the way through the day. There was a little tiny bit of set selling here right at the end of the day. But if we were to take a, a look at a 15 minute chart here, you can see in that open yesterday um, gapping down. But then we just kind of had that steady buying pressure throughout the day. So it was a nice move um, yesterday. And what of course everyone would like to see is a nice bullish follow through here's the problem that we that we are dealing with this morning first off uh, right now as as i'm recording this futures uh, dow futures are up 81 points that's putting that dow or that diamonds um, with a morning open right near this price resistance area i mean right there so we have this range here of some significant price resistance in the chart and i don't want to suggest that we can break through there or 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 um, can break through there just that we have to um, keep an eye on that resistance remember a gap up open can create some pretty nasty things if we don't pay attention first off we can get that gap up open like this where we end up getting uh, nothing but selling after that gap up open so let's keep an eye on that if we gap into price resistance levels that's where we want to watch for those potential pop and drop uh, patterns to occur let's keep in mind that yesterday the president kind of raised tensions in um, the trade negotiations so um, with an executive order that really seems to be um, specifically targeting um, uh, mobile device maker Huawei, but um, gives the government the ability to block information and, um, and technology um, uh, transfers of any kind. Um, deemed a national security risk. So we're going to be watching, uh, have to watch this stuff closely because as those tensions rise or, or, or uh, who knows. But right now, this morning, we've, get, we've put on a pretty brave face here for the morning and we're looking pretty good. Let's hope that follows through. I personally kind of hoping we get a little bit of a follow through, but I will be approaching any new um, entries into positions pretty cautiously as we um, rally into this resistance area here this is this uh, you know imagine this as you know a bunker um, this is a war between the bulls and the bears and this is the bearish bunker and uh, all of those bears may be lying in wait right here to ambush any bulls uh, attempting to push through uh, that level so we'll want to watch that and just stay focused on that pretty closely let's take a look at the spy spy very similar situation we're going to be gapping straight into a fairly significant resistance area and i would i would suggest even though i haven't got it drawn here there's a range in here as well where we we have a, a fairly strong resistance area and as we move up into this we want to make sure that we just don't get ambushed by uh, by those bears. Now, if we pull back, any pullback, any rest, I think as long as we hold above these key support levels, we're going to be okay. Uh, obviously, that would be pretty disappointing if we pulled all the way back into there. But as we push higher here and we start testing these heavy resistance areas, we'll want to watch pretty closely to make sure those bears aren't lying there in wait. Let's take a look at the cues. Cues. 
very close to the same situation. Um, but Q's had a really great day yesterday, moving strongly. There was a a, a, a wide base of um, tech buying going on. Big moves in, in Google and Amazon, Netflix. All of them had a really nice uh, push up yesterday, um, giving this a nice lift um, in the NASDAQ. But as we push up here toward this resistance level, and, the, and I'm going to put a range in here again, somewhere through here. As we push up into here, we're going to have to watch to make sure that we don't run into those bears. The last thing we want to do is, is jump in right at price resistance right before the market makes that next failure or that potential lower high failure so watch that closely remember the trade negotiations still are going on that the tensions are continuing to increase on that we have um we also have, um, if you remember, um, uh, that retail sales number that came in bad yesterday so um there are reasons to be a little bit cautious right now um, as we approach those resistance levels. I don't want to try and scare anybody out of the market. That's not my goal here. It's just, it's just to be aware of um, what the market is pointing out to us in the chart. No prediction here whatsoever. Just stay very, very focused on that price action in the chart. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also had a really good day yesterday, running into a fairly significant level of price resistance here in the chart as you can see right across to your fairly significant price resistance level we're trying to gap up above that this morning so i would watch that pretty closely and i think the range on this one moves right up into here so as long uh, if we attack up into here if we can hold up here great if we start to see that failure pattern if we see those bears uh, defending that area up here we may have a little bit of worry to pay attention to. Let's take a look at um, the VIX. Now that VIX pulling back nicely, um, moving back toward this level of support. We want to see that actually drift down back below that, kind of reducing the fear in the market. Last thing we want to see is if those bears are defending in this area, a hold of this support and that fear starting to increase again and actually creating that um, trend of fear and that would be uh, pretty bearish for the market so we'll want to watch that pretty closely but i don't know that there's a whole lot of reason to be uh, incredibly fearful here just a reason to approach the market with a little bit of caution and be careful not to be chasing or rushing into trades make sure you have planned those trades very carefully and, and know exactly what you're doing um, as far as the risk you know, one of the biggest mistakes that I made over and over and over in my trading is I constantly um, added positions. I would I would be so hopeful of a market move and um, I would see a stock moving up and I would be so hopeful of um, that we were getting that recovery um, in a stock. I would end up buying the stock right at price resistance and, and literally built a complex um, because I, I could have sworn every time um, I placed a trade, somebody was there to punish me. They had to have been watching me. And the fact of the matter is uh, um, what I was doing uh, was repeating the same mistake over and over and over. I, I would allow my hopefulness for a, that bullish move to get in the way of common sense. And I was buying um, stocks constantly right at price resistance right at the point where we could see that failure and that's what i'm seeing in the overall indexes today if we rush into these trades and we buy right at price resistance we could end up buying right at the point of failure and those can be very very painful and that doesn't mean that the failure has to be extreme we could get that failure and this is what would happen to me i would hit that the failure would occur the pain would get big enough, I would close the trade and I would end up closing the trade right before the market reversed and started back up. So be really, really careful there. We want to be buying stocks at or near price support, not at or near price resistance. Just a simple little rule that I follow that has it really changed my trading life. Um, so think about that. 
as you plan your trades moving forward. Let's take a look at um, T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio. Interestingly enough, after that nice move yesterday, we really didn't extend T2122 all that much. So you can see T2122 is right up here around that 50% area, right in that middle zone which means it's not giving us a direction as to which way the market's going to go. What it does do is open, tell us we have an open door to the upside and also an open door to the downside, and they are pretty much equal at the moment. So we'll want to just stay focused on that price action and realize we could go either direction um, based on any of the events or news or tweets or anything else that come out could come out in the day we have room for both sides let's take a look at our um, economic calendar today and we do have things on the economic calendar today to be aware of that could move us around, particularly right here at the open. We have the housing starts number, jobless claims, and the Philly Fed outlook. All three of these have the potential of moving the market. So we're going to want to watch that first thing here at um, 8.30 a.m. Eastern, an hour before the market opens, because that could definitely move things around. We could either improve our, our look in our futures. We could uh, um, see our futures uh, pull back substantially as a result of that. So watch watch that closely. Also, you can see we have um, a natural gas report today not expected to move the market. A bunch of bond auctions and announcements. And then we have our um, Fed speaker for the day down here at 12.05 and the Fed balance sheet, which will unlikely to move the market after these three events today. So watch those. Let's take a look on our earnings calendar today. We have over a um, 100 companies, almost 115 companies reporting earnings today. And we've already seen Walmart report well. We also have a big report from NVIDIA today. Um, NVIDIA will want to um, focus in on that. I believe they report this afternoon. So you might want to keep an eye on NVIDIA later today is another one of those big uh, reports that could be a key um, key driver for um, the market. So watch that close. Let's um, take a second here. And I want to thank everyone who, um, who takes the time, um, watches these videos, takes the time to leave a comment, leave a um, click that thumbs up button. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube? You know, um, I, I, I spend a considerable amount of time putting these videos together and trying to do the best job I, I can in helping um, traders prepare for the day and think about all the different aspects of what could affect the market for the day. If you find that useful, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Every comment, every thumbs up um, helps these algorithms uh, from YouTube and Google show these videos to more people. And I truly, truly appreciate that you guys um, means the world to me um, you guys are awesome I got to tell you it, um, it I'm humbled every day by the kind comments so thank you very very much for those who do I do try to answer all of those as well as as often as I can um, there are times I miss but I do try to answer all of those responses um, also Please feel free to share this video with any friends and family. Share it on Facebook or Twitter. Um, it's it's open for anyone. If you find it useful, maybe your friends, family, fellow traders will find it useful as well. Thank you very much to everyone who um, who supports the channel. I truly appreciate it. With that, how about we take a look at some stocks that are looking pretty good? Um, things that we might want to pay attention to for potential trades. Let's take a look. First off, at some of these defensive stocks, boy, I got to tell you, some of these defensive sector stocks are some of the prettiest charts right now, and we'll want to keep an eye on those um, 
here and and I've been mentioning several of these um, over and over and over and they're paying off uh, first off MDLZ moving up looking pretty good here nice little pattern um, I can't say that MDLZ is gonna be one of those that just you know you can rip the cover off the ball uh, because it's gonna take off so hard but it certainly is impressive in the way it's moved up in a beautiful trend it's very concise very consistent so you might want to keep an eye on that one um, a lot of you know right way options we got into coca-cola we're doing great here on the coca-cola uh, move and looks like coke is maybe looking to move up just a little bit higher this morning might be popping up into a little bit of resistance but we have a very nice position going on here in coke I think as a matter of fact I'm up like 16 17 percent on coca-cola um, in just a couple of days so looking really good here on coke now um, another chart that's actually prettier and um, I, I wish I would have bought this one too is PepsiCo and I have been mentioning PepsiCo uh, for several days now PepsiCo beautiful move yesterday beautiful chart pattern looking great those defensive sector stocks just holding up really really well and looking quite strong so you might want to keep an eye on those um, we can, you know, we can just keep moving on. Um, uh, Colgate Palm Olive in a nice pattern. Um, Kimberly Clark in a nice pattern moving up. Um, GIS moving up. All of these are defensive sector stocks. And you can see they're just, they're holding up really, really well. And what that means is, is when the market is uncertain, we often see stocks like this um, pick up some energy because a lot of folks start shifting um um, their holdings over there to protect them in these uncertain market conditions and that is is uh, where a lot of investors will will take their money so there's good opportunities um, in a market like this when we're um, a little bit scary a little bit shaky in the market other stocks that are looking really nice um, uh, PayPal PayPal had a really nice move back up yesterday strong move be careful chasing this I think this would be one for a watch list I would wait for some kind of a rest a pullback a consolidation before for entering into that trade but that uh, PayPal looking really good Costco holding up really really well in this nice consolidation zone it's it's kind of a wide range consolidation but holding up quite well and if Costco were to pop out of there um, I think Costco has an opportunity to the upside so you might want to keep um, an eye on that um, chart like uh, PAYX PAYX, a beautiful chart. We have just fought, 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 fought. The bulls here have been really tenacious, not wanting this to drop. We get those morning uh, drops, but uh, PAYX coming right back. Yesterday, a very nice move. If this uh, were to follow through, break through some of this resistance to the upside, PAYX, I think may have some upside potential here. So keep an eye on that trade last but not least I'm going to go over a, a, a chart that I think is a very interesting chart and, and one that uh, Disney is is one of those uh, trades and I, I I must admit I have a little bit of bias because I actually um, years ago caught it caught this move had a four-year trend um, you want to make some great money get into a four-year trend uh, phenomenal but here's the pattern I wanted to show you guys this is an amazing uh, multi-year wedge pattern and that multi-year wedge pattern broke to the top side on that good news that um, you know in their earnings their good news that they were going to start their streaming service all those different kind of things coming into play well what I can tell you about multi-year wedge pattern breakouts like that is you want to watch for those trades to set up and I let me go back to the daily here now and on that daily chart you can see that we have rested here a little bit or pulling back consolidating a little bit and we can see Disney starting to perk up here just a little in this chart now I can't tell you exactly where this trend is going to be identified but there is that possibility that we could be reaching that trend in here so we want to watch that close and it looks like this morning we're getting a little tiny bit of bullishness um, 
in Disney today, but that's that one of those patterns, that bigger pattern where you just get those tremendous potential moves where this can go and go and go. So you might want to put Disney on your list and just be watching for that potential entry. I cannot tell you if this is the time, I can tell you that we could even see more consolidation and more pullback before this really um, catches um, catches its breath after such a big move and, and starts moving higher. But I think there is some nice upside potential here in Disney. So worth keeping an eye on. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. Take care of yourselves. Have a great day. And if you're struggling as a trader, please never give up on yourself. Never give up on the dream because believe me, it is worth it. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you bright and early Friday morning. Have a great one.